Good morning, people. Today is Champlain Towers' question of the day. Where is the construction joints for the structure? The outside parking garage and the pool deck experienced different temperature differences. Yes, I know they had some temperature steel there. But what did they, how did they handle where they didn't have it? Where the temperature still varied and the expansions of the concrete expanded and contracted. Did not that deck go up to 110 degrees a few times, being it's in Miami? And then the under part of the deck where the cars are, are not at 110 degrees? But they're in a little bit of shaded area? How do they handle this expansion? I looked around the columns. I wanted to get to this part of the video now. Tom, this shout out to you. It's the part I said I'm going to get to. Um, that they have no expansion around the columns. No expansion around the columns. And then we have no expansion at the uh, wall area. I saw no expansion to turn up in these materials, nor in the drawings. For you guys, you think about bridges. Expansion joints are full um, cuts through. They go fully through. And they would, even if you put tile on the deck, you would still... Uh, well, there's a way to get a, to do that, but you won't get a service expansion joint. Um, but the uh, you can put tile over expansion joint, but there was none. We saw the construction joint, which did not act like an expansion joint. It was a construction joint to bring the two pieces together, but it was not designed for expansion and contraction because it had rebar in it, rebar there. Um, at the underside of it, so if it would, and that would cause a lot of spalling and defects on the underside of the structure uh, with uh, expansion and contraction. So we would look, try to find a plane, or maybe there's quite a few areas where expansion and contraction took place. Well, a lot of it would could happen right over there by K, L, and M. There is differential expansion there, but because it, the deck stands out you know, 12 feet and then the next part of the deck goes in 12 feet to the uh, to the elevated um, deck that goes into the lobby which is known as the uh, transfer slab uh, transfer slab the transfer yeah that's it right Ele that elevates one foot six recall that was supposed to be two foot six inches thick so it's critical that that two foot six was reduced down to one foot six. I think I did the math it was like forty percent reduction, and basically a beam that would be going across there, carrying uh, would have made it more rigid that whole face wall. Of course, we have the missing BMAs. I reference them as in the parking garage, uh, where the parking areas are, and where the uh, planter box load. Okay, I know I had the, the video problem the other day, and I don't know where this is going with this one. You can believe that I'm not talking in monotone, that I'm elevating my voice. And YouTube made that video, so the volume's way down. Well, update on that is I've got someone trying to help me with it that's inside YouTube telling me what's going on. Yes, the wording is that they don't do it. They don't encourage it. They use a subcontractor. So they can say they don't do it all they want. I get hire somebody like Tom to do my blocking. And I say, I never blocked a single person. And I just tell Tom to block me each time, block somebody. And so now I get to brag about I never blocked a single person. But Tom did, and I don't tell you about Tom. So it does exist. Um, um, and I... Found it through another person. That Facebook person says 100% control. They're they're right about that. But I had another person tell me uh, that I got hold of that told me that yeah, and they don't have access to unlocking it because the person that does the controlling is unknown at this time. So it's just not. It's they've got so many compartments. All right, back to this. So my content's never going to get out there until that person um, decides to leave me alone, decides that, uh, you know what, go ahead, you jerk, meaning me, 
just put your content out there but right now nope nope and there's no way to uh, because they won't acknowledge it there's no way to undo it and there's no uh, no way to undo it and you can send them all the videos you want and they say well it's the algorithm is the next reply I try to use a, uh, I, for, for example, you, you got on the same IP address as my address. I kept the, I use a, a VPN, but this time I used a, the same IP address to get on there with someone else's fresh computer. Looked up Champlain Towers with their fresh computer on my IP address. It did not reference me to about the 60th video down and it just showed a short. That was it. I gave up after going down about 60 videos. All right. Uh, so there I'm in. So, you know, this to discourage you to doing the content. Um, and it could be the minor, minor, the minor of thing that, uh, that, that they don't want out there is what, uh, I've understood that it could be the minus, the minor of thing that you think that, um, there's nothing. Well, I watched a guy, another guy on, uh, forget the name of his channel anyway he came out that he worked for one of the private companies because I went looking for the private companies then sure enough I found it one big one in Florida that does Facebook and he came out and said that yeah 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 there's like five million people that can say what they want to say there's actually a list and it's about like five million people that can do whatever they want and nothing will come of them and he said that uh um Trump was actually on that list, and then after that uh, uh, January 6th deal, and he actually called it the Insura, right back, whatever, that, that the guy doing that rate, doing the communications, he said that uh, he was removed from the list, but um, it's interesting how that's set up. All right, so that's my two-take video here. We talked about that, but let's get back to the construction joint. The construction joint, so in other words, I'm down to, you know, you know, a few hundred people now, and that's the way it's going to be, and those are your, my subscribers that I said I wouldn't give up on, so uh, this is for you guys. Um, the construction joint, there is, I could find none in this entire deck. It's bound at the walls, it's bound at the, at the uh, pool, it's bound at the jacuzzi, meaning the floors are. They're bound at the, because there's rebar at each column, so they're bound there. They're bound at the at where the parking garage is. That's bound there, meaning the concrete can't go, go any directions. It's bound at the, that construction joint that they had with the rebar just at the bottom, even though it didn't have rebar across the top, the bottom rebar bound it. And then it's bound at the building and at the BMAs over there. In the KLM area, bound, locked in. Interesting. What if we load an area more so an expansion takes place on the left side compared to the right? Well, the say expansion takes place. If we load an area of concrete, concrete more so on the on one side, say the parking area, than on the other side, and the temperature comes up equally, will they will they react the same? One weighs more than the other one to the than the pool deck and the planter side. It's just a thought that I wanted to give you guys. What 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 because it's trying to expand, it's hitting a, a heavier force. Then we have our cycles, our huge cycles of uh, temperature ranges in Florida there. It goes down to what, forty degrees right probably by that beach? And then it's also cooled down from the hot heat and then take it from hot heat to rain to being cooled down with water what kind of effect does that have on these open decks this you guys can look up this is called uh this is uh seven steps to quality sealant joints now um the document this one is joints and precast precast parking structures so these are precast they're individual units and yet they're still being controlled with uh you know stopping um well, you want to control it all the time, but they're still being controlled with such a small span, width-wise, not length, and they're still putting construction joints in, um, 
making sure well they're, it's construction joints because they butt but the uh, but the uh, yeah bad play on words there but they're being sealed where is the sealant there on the entire pool deck I see when you look at all the videos the images of it before the collapse I see no construction joints they didn't talk about it in any reports I looked now I, I saw on the other forums there quite bored this time I, I got trolled over there by a couple of you guys sending me a link over there. But this this time I went over on my own. I wanted to see what the good laughter was. It was a good laugh over there. And you guys know I play Columbo in my videos. Just go back a few videos. Cool deck. It's not a misspelling. Cool deck. Cool deck. Cool deck. All right. Look up cool deck. That deck was designed as concrete with an over with an overlay of, of a, like a painted rough surface material for your, for people's feet for for people's feet. That's the, that was the load it was going to take. Now is cool deck waterproof? Um, well, I ask you this: Is rain is uh, is paint waterproof? Is paint waterproof? Answer the questions down below course I already know the answer but is paint waterproof think about that and now you can pick any paint you want you can pick that paint that they uh, use in uh, your bathtub areas that would be a nice paint to look up and look at it and come back to me and tell me if that paint is waterproof and I'll and uh, give me a name your manufacturer and all that I'll look it up for specifics but I'll give you your answer is paint waterproof. Alright, take care guys.